Find all angles in the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi that satisfy the given equation. Write the general solution. In part A, solve secant theta equals negative 2 using the unit circle. An equation with reciprocal trigonometric ratios can be solved by rewriting it so it involves only primary trigonometric ratios. We write secant theta as 1 over cos theta. Multiply both sides by cosine theta to get 1 equals negative 2 cos theta. Divide both sides by negative 2 to get cos theta equals negative 1 over 2. Bring up the unit circle. Cos theta equals negative 1 over 2 at 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. The general solution is 2 pi over 3 plus n times 2 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers, and 4 pi over 3 plus n times 2 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. In part b, solve cosecant theta equals undefined using the unit circle. An equation with reciprocal trigonometric ratios can be solved by rewriting it so it involves only primary trigonometric ratios. Rewrite the equation as sine theta equals zero. Sine theta is the reciprocal of cosecant theta. Zero is the reciprocal of undefined. Bring up the unit circle. The solution is 0, pi, and 2 pi. The general solution is theta equals n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. In part c, solve cotan theta equals negative 1 using the unit circle. An equation with reciprocal trigonometric ratios can be solved by rewriting it so it involves only primary trigonometric ratios. We write the equation as tan theta equals negative 1. Tan theta is the reciprocal of cotan theta. Negative 1 is the reciprocal of negative 1. Bring up the unit circle. Tan theta equals negative 1 when sine theta and cos theta have the same magnitude but opposite signs. The solution is theta equals 3 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. The general solution is theta equals 3 pi over 4 plus n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers.